you still miss your ex-partner, you might think that getting him or her back is some kind of event. Just one day you will convince that person to get back to you and you will live happily ever after. But it doesn't work this way. If you want to get back to your ex, actually it needs to be a process, like you start dating with someone new. And why this is the case, I will tell you on this video. Let's see how this looks like on a particular example. Mark broke up with Mary after four years of a relationship. At the end of this relationship, she was trying really hard and broke the balance of engagement. After parting, however, she drew solid conclusion about what went wrong, she changed herself and implemented exactly the strategy of becoming a challenge. And after a few weeks, she attractively renewed contact with Mark in three steps, not showing him much interest from the beginning. And it worked. Mark reacted with quite a lot of enthusiasm, willingly wanted to meet, and from that moment on, he started to contact Mary regularly. And then he suggested another meeting. He quickly confessed to Mary that he was really missing her all the time and he wanted to come back to her. And she agreed to it. For a moment, both of them were even delighted. They got physically close again and everything seemed to be going great. But Mary was very surprised when she woke up on the second day next to Mark and already during the breakfast she felt that something was wrong. He was withdrawn and absent. The next days she had to initiate contact while his answer were rather casual. When she asked directly what was wrong, she got the answer that it was all too fast and it was a mistake that they are back together. Did Mark turn out to be a sadistic jerk who was just waiting to hurt Mary? Or maybe something else happens there? Unfortunately, such a scenario is not a fiction but a story that happened to many of my clients, both men and women, who did not listen to my warning and showed too quickly how available and ready they are for a relationship. This may seem strange, but it's basically a completely natural reaction. Let's see how it worked from Mark's perspective. After he parted with Mary, he completely lost contact with her. At first, he saw how much she still cared about him and he was sure that he did not feel anything for her anymore. He even started dating a little, but without much success. He was also convinced that if he wanted to, she would go back to him immediately. But as time went on and Mary still didn't contact him, he became less and less sure. He saw in the social media that she had returned to her normal life and was doing quite well. He wasn't so sure if she still had feelings for him and started to wonder if she had met someone new. Slowly, he was getting more and more curious how she was doing. There was still a long way to go to be together again, but he had to admit to himself that he thought more and more often about how it was in the past. Even more changed when Mary suddenly contacted him, but obviously she didn't want anything more from him. And the first time he saw her after such a time and noticed that she was a bit withdrawn, he started to wonder whether he made a mistake when he broke up with her. He felt that she wasn't as accessible as she used to be, and even if he didn't realize it, it was because of this that he was very attracted to her again. But when he suggested that they start being together again and Mary agrees immediately, something happened that he didn't expect at all. Again, she stopped being attractive to him anymore. He saw that she wasn't really a challenge for him. It wasn't a rational conclusion, he just felt that he no longer cared. He realized that coming back was a mistake. When the uncertainty disappeared whether she wanted anything from him, whether she would contact him or not, whether she would agree to meet him, the feeling he had for her disappeared automatically as well. Love is not rational. What Mark feels for Mary does not depend on him, but on what happens in his head and is beyond his control. Mary could now dislike Mark for what he did, but in practice she made a mistake herself. Getting back to your ex-partner must be a process, it must continue. This cannot be an event. It should look like you've just started seeing each other for the first time. The uncertainty about whether you want something else from your ex has to last longer. It is during those days when the other person doesn't know what you're doing. Whether you're going to meet again or whether something will come out of it, your ex will start falling in love with you again. Hence, if you discover your cards too quickly, you can shoot yourself not in the foot, but in the head. I hope this video gave you a hint how getting back your ex should look like, but if you want to have much more specific information on this subject, just register to my webinar How to Get Back Your Ex, which you will find 
on x.robertmarchell.com. So just go there, find more details and register. I'm running this webinar regularly, so you will uh, have a chance even if you see this video two years after publishing it. And for more videos like this, please subscribe. See you soon, Robert Marchell.